So it's Thursday, September 17th, the beginning of South Dakota Film Festival online. So Duende is live right now. People are maybe watching it. I don't know. Kind of exciting, but not as exciting. You know, there's kind of kind of that glitz and glamour has been taken away just because it's online. I'm not experiencing it with an audience. Um, whatever. That's, that's, that's what it is. Um, headed home from rehearsal at the moment and record the mess. Uh, you're on you're on recordings now. Oh no, that's bad. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh. You can talk to me on film or not at all. Editing. But that's fancy. Please don't it's very legit. That John said on it's, your it's blog. not on there. You're putting it on there. The thing about you not having pants on. Yeah, that's right. Stop! I Whoa. had pants on! I never take off my pants in this house. No. Boy, the mornings are a quick sight for the neighbors. So it's Friday, September 18th, and I am heading back from the Bannocks, picking up this little kitten that I've got with me. It's kind of a long story, but when we were picking up Emmett after our vacation, the, the Bannocks, they've got tons of cats out at their farm, and so this super sweet cat caught my eye so I told Bethany we should we should try this cat out she's like well let's let the animals get acquainted to our presence back because we were gone for a whole week so to make the animals not think you know that we're just trying to replace them be like oh we're back now and with a new animal so it's been a week ish uh, we waited this week to bring the kitten back with us so now it's Friday um, if our animals accept this new addition then we're gonna keep her. But if they, if like Ripley and O'Malley are like, no, I, I will not abide this. Then we're gonna have to bring the kitten back. But I don't know. I hope that they like her, cause I really do. Being my buddy, partner in crime. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. Just, just look at this cat. So chill. Yeah, you might fit. In. Yeah, you might fit in well here. Let's check it out. All right, it's O'Malley. Hey guys. Got a new buddy for you. This, hey. There's, there she goes. This, what are you guys? <laughs> They're like, what have, what has happened? <laughs> All right, that was it. That was the first reaction. <laughs> now let me take you to the movies. It's not El Duende, it's just a white man. Well, El Duende was the working title, and then I cut the L because it's so. To save time. No, just because it's so cliche. There's a lot of the this and the that out there. Yeah, I mean, it's an article. By changing it to Duende, you almost made it like a proper noun, though. Like, it's the guy's name, like the monster's name. Yeah. So you wanted to watch Q&A first? Yes. Yes. Q&A. We need to do our own Q&A with you. First of all, how dare you? Uh, the rest of the panel has questions. <laughs> I want to see the movie first. What's the verdict? Movie, I guess. Two of them. Alright. I will watch... Yeah, I'll watch it. Want me to stop it so you make your comment? John Bates! Jim just listed it as also. <laughs> also. I did some light costuming too that I did not get credit for doing. We, uh, we loved this. We loved that it was uh, made, in, made in South Dakota, right? Yes. We didn't get a lot of horror films this year and we're itching for one. And we, we uh, like really like what you did with it. One of the, the interesting things that, that struck us off immediately is that your use of language in it and uh, not not foul language, but 
called it. Like, yeah. Oh, and his hair is different in the script. Which... What's his hair like? You're in a production meeting. By the way, I like the way your phone matches your t-shirt. Uh, you, would have, you would have to take it. This is the fun part. The meticulous brain-killing part. <laughs>